Hi everyone, Forrest here with Honey Pots. I'm in Michigan, Zone 5, and we're having Michigan weather today, so I am staying inside. I wanted to talk to you today about wood ash and how you can use it. Wood ash first comes from burnt wood, as long as you don't put any uh, type of igniter fluid on it and it is just regular raw wood, you can utilize it. This here comes from my, you can see it's really dusty, comes from my uh, stove. I have a pellet burning stove that keeps us warm in the winter and it also provides me with wood ash. I take it outside and put it around um, some of my trees, my plants, and my vegetables. Um, the, it's composed of many major and minor uh, elements needed for trees and plants to grow. Um, Calcium is probably going to be the most abundant thing that's in wood ash, but it's also a good source of potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, and aluminum. So those are in there along with some micronutrients. So good stuff for your plants. And um, if you have a wood burning stove, you've already got it. Um, the things that the type of plants that like uh, the wood ash are going to be like your artichokes, your to tomatillos, anything in the brassica family like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. Um, they're going to like and appreciate it. In fact, it's really good for uh, cabbage, I'm, I'm sorry, um, broccoli and cauliflower. They can get clubfoot and this will help prevent that. The other one that's good for are going to be your green family. Uh, any type of leafy green vegetable is going to like and appreciate this. Like collard greens and spinach and romaines and stuff like that. Uh, they're just going to enjoy that and you're going to enjoy it too when you eat it. That stuff good. Um, the plants that aren't going to like it are the plants that are acidic because uh, wood ash will alkalize your soil. So if you're if you've got acidic plants out in the yard, don't use this. And by acidic, I mean anything that's in the berry family, which also includes roses. By the way, so don't use it on roses, your blackberries, your raspberries, um, strawberries, blueberries. None of those plants are going to like or appreciate this. Um, any type of rhododendron uh, isn't going to like it. They are an acidic plant. Um, like an azalea is in the rhododendron family. Um, any potato or parsley is not going to like it either. But if you're not sure or certain, definitely Google the plant that you're looking at. I will uh, try and get a more extensive list out there. Right now I'm working on a blog plot place so you guys can come and uh, get the list and stuff and get uh, some more detailed information that I uh, haven't shared with you here. Um, also, only apply this on the soil, um, not the leaves. I think I've already mentioned this. Um, it helps with disease control as well. I have put this around an apple tree that I dearly love. It's gorgeous. But it also had fire blight. And I put it around that tree, um, and the fire blight has gotten smaller. I can't say it's totally went away, but it's gotten smaller, so I will be adding some more of the wood ash to this, um, to that tree. Um, I think that's about it for wood ash. Um, oh, this increases the growth in plants by 45% over the uh, traditional lime that you get out in the stores. So it's, you know, saving you money and it's a better source for you and it's natural. Okay, I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or want to see a video about something else, just put it down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.